Welcome back. We continue our marathon coverage of Agos of 10 Part 2 with the good old chocolate median and medians problem. This time we actually have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory become a co-op at Northeastern and they give a rather crazy um, type of interview problem. It's a problem that you might have seen on Lead Code called the K Chocolate Bars, but we're going to use median and medians to make it a lot easier to solve and also use the good old hashing for some probability math. So this episode is sponsored by uh, Nestle, at least, and it's one of my key ingredients for my birthday cake on my birthday. So let's go and meet Charlie Ch Charlie Bucket, Willy Wonka, and the Chocolate Factory in this palm set. Of course, make sure to just subscribe and you'll get some free chocolate, hopefully. So yeah, this is a very interesting problem called Median and Medians. It is a Divide and Conquer problem, but for this one, instead of just seeing the Divide and Conquer and boring you guys, we're going to use it as a black box function, which is basically a subroutine, like a helper function to solve a problem. This problem also can do a little bit of more advanced hashing with the modulo math, which we talked about when we found about the uh, happy numbers. But this problem takes it up another notch and basically actually determines with a Boolean array of true and false whether each chocolate piece is actually suitable or can be split up into a good piece for people to eat. This is a bit like an actual co-op problem at Northeastern, but disclaimer, I'm not allowed to say any more of it because of NEU uh, co-op regulations. So anyways, let me just show you the problem set and the solution directly. So the story goes like this. We have good old Charlie Bucket now finally grown up and wants to actually do a business partner with the Willy Wonka. <laughs> I am drawing stick figures because I like to be a bit childish in my stories. However, there's a bit of a problem. At Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, which we draw very clearly here, and all the smoke coming out of the factory and good old chocolate. So Charlie Bucket has won the golden ticket. Now, if you're not familiar with Roll Dolls, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, it's a great summer read, great um, imaginative, imaginative little story to read, but that's for another story. Anyway, so for the rest of the story, here is the problem. Willy Wonka wants to now do a position at Northeastern, a fictional position called, I don't know, Chocolate Medium Factory, uh, software design co-op. Yes, this is a fake co-op position. If you're looking for jobs right now, this is just a nice example of how you're going to like look at some job titles. Believe me, I've learned the hard way not to get fooled by job titles. So, for this situation, here's what the co-ops have to do. You have N applicants, so this is once again hopefully reminding you of not divide and conquer, but median and medians. And you want to divide a rectangular chocolate bar into K pieces of equal deliciousness. And then we also return an array of true and false to start to determine if we can actually make the splits of the chocolate bar. Seems so easy that a child with chocolate could solve it? Not necessarily, because here is the catch. You may not assume they're not equally distributed. So they're not equally distributed in terms of split. If it was equally distributed, this would be a very simple divide and conquer five minute problem. But since they're not equally distributed, we have to use something a little more clever called immediate medians and some hashing stuff. So hold on to your seatbelts and make sure you don't throw up your own chocolate because this problem set will get a little more complicated and it's by far the most mathy of the part two of I was in 10. Prepare yourselves for this amazing, amazing chocolate meat in fact. Will you with the math, uh, let me just show you what the constraints are. It's very simple. The only one constraint that the splits cannot be anything greater or less than in the full integer. So like basically assume that you're crazy enough to even feed like little, I don't know, trilobites or something. Feel like really, really little uh, animals, the chocolate. So here's how we get started with the problem. Let's first determine what is a median and a medians. So we have this nice looking rectangular or semi-rectangular chocolate bar. And let's say one of the co-op is extremely naive and just wants to chop it up into thirds. Okay, not a bad solution, except we were told that this is not supposed to be equal. So that's already not going to work. A much better and more likely get the roll solution would be the following. We apply the median and medians, which means, for example, we apply the median and medians such that we have something what we call a uniform distribution 
of the true and false. Or in this case, the splits are actually uniformly random. And yeah, I did warn you there's gonna be some math, so this is getting into some probability. So basic probability is that the probability of a split is uniformly random between k splits. And that is the first of the mathy parts. Now let's get even more mathy as we actually apply medium obedience to the problem. Okay, so let's continue then with the algorithm. So we have a chocolate bar, which is in this case, if we have just uh, k equals three, we can divide into k over three medians for the problem. And this is going all the way up to k equals two to the n minus one, or the largest integer it could be. So we basically then have a value to determine in the array that is true false. In that, it does it hash or does it not hash? If it hashes correctly, we then just write this for a hash function, h of chocolate. <laughs> you can see I love making very descriptive um, variables. x, which is the hash value, equals h of the partition modulo n. And just as a re recap, for any hashing function h a of x, you return a 1 if hash, a 0 if not hash. So it's basically a binary indicator variable, which I'm right over here. So that is the mathy part that I think a lot of people would be well served on reviewing whenever it comes to hashing functions. Otherwise, this problem will get a little more difficult for you guys to understand. So now let me go back and solve the actual problem with the uh, new hashing function that we have built during this uh, video. In addition, this array is up to length of n, which is pretty interesting because in the actual problem set that came from leak code in this problem, it was up to n plus 1. But I made it a little bit simpler because hashing, you can't hash the first value. That's called the nonce. Or if you don't know crypto, it's basically this the bit where you set in each hash function. It's called the nonce. So yeah, now I'm going to go back to the problem and try to solve it properly using the approach for the chocolate medium factor. So the algorithm is continued like this. We basically determine the medians of the chocolate bar. So we have an array called medians. Let's say, for example, just store the median uh, splits of the chocolate bar m1 to mn. So we do this up to basically uh, each partition of 1 over 3 being the smallest partition up to 1 over n, the largest of the partitions. So guess how we're going to put this in the hashing table, which will help us determine the best, uh, best splits in the uh, algorithm. We apply median medians. That is how we do it. We apply the moms. Apply median of medians and basically a subroutine of divide and conquer. Divide in terms of partitioning and conquer in terms of hashing. And that's it for the divide and conquer part of this entire algorithm. This is a hella short algorithm in terms of divide and conquer because you already have everything black boxed. Now the merge step, I'm gonna do part one here which is very simply write a hashing function h of chocolate x and then we basically have two cases of it. It equals to the h partition mod n or does not equal h of partition mod n. If it equals the partition, so if true, Sorry, if true, then we basically say that there exists for all h of partitions that the uh, h of chocolate holds, which means basically every single hash could be put into a split for the chocolate, which makes, uh, of course, Charlie Bucket and Willy Wonka very, very happy. However, on the flip side, if it's false, that means there exists a H partition that it does not hold. So the chocolate does not hold. The chocolate split does not hold. And this is very important for any merging um, 
part of this algorithm. Because what we're gonna do next is fill up the array and then finally go for the runtime. This is a very short but very sweet algorithm that a lot of people would be very wise to know for the leak coding. So we wrap up the algorithm as follows. We have our uh, true-false array. So we have our Boolean array of truth and false. And essentially, we just simply, um, in Q and true, the age of chocolate holds, and then in Q and false, if age of chocolate does not hold. And to know why it does not hold, remember the probability math, right? The probability that we have each split equal to k is one over n. So just plug in that value that the probability h of chocolate holds is also less than or equal to one over n. Sorry, less than or equal to one over n. And there we have it. That is your algorithm. Basically, you just use the median, medians, and the hashing functions to make a store for all the splits in the chocolate. And now, very quickly, the runtime. The runtime is just O of k because we have a linear pass for each split up to k splits. And there we have it. That is your solution to the entire uh, chocolate medium factory. Of course, if you want to have more challenge, you can try to make this down to O of 1 for diamond programming or some other approaches. But I think O of k is Gucci for now. So in the next video, I'm going to go over a very cool application of Dijkstra algorithm for Monopoly. And then finally, we're going to finish off with the Candy DP and, of course, the AHT, the abstract hashing type for Major League Baseball. If you guys love um, baseball, if you guys love um, Monopoly, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we're going to have all those types of stuff very, very soon. Enjoy. Have a nice day.